All right, welcome back everyone to some more Octopath Traveler. Uh, we're heading over to Altstam now. Uh, not Altstam, Atlasstam, that's it. And uh, we have to backtrack a little bit. I did bump up the volume of the voices because sometimes the, the voices were kind of lost in the background. Why does Primrose have a boost to something? I don't think I, I got any new. I'm pretty sure I didn't get any new spells. Nighthold, bring your shade. Or passive stuff that does anything of that effect. No. So why Night. do you have that? Also, I got a uh, Ophelia a new summon. Just uh, found some, uh, someone else in the town who was a bit better at like damage-wise, which is something she lacks a little bit. Her healing, though, that's some top-notch. I guess that's what you get for a cleric. Yeah, Atlas Dam, up ahead. And that's where we have to go to get our uh, final party member. Let us fight with honor. But other than that, we're... Uh, been in a pretty good spot in here lately. We've been making some good progress. I need to look at Primrose's skills. This is, uh... This is confusing me a little bit. There we go. The thrill of the fight. So why do you have that? Show goes on. Nope. No? Um. Not that I know of. Alright, um. Alright, well. Wait, hold on. Boost when defending. Ooh, ta I didn't even know that. Okay, so yeah, that's what I, uh... Okay. So I didn't even see these talent things. Alright, that's neat. Uh, so that's why we're just getting passive money whenever we walk around. Yeah. Alright, so... Summon a townsperson you've charmed, yep. And summon a townsperson under your guidance to aid you. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, just... I, I love the passive money. I wish it did tell me, like, how much I got from it, though. Just so I can know, like, over time how much it's happened. <laughs> Peace, frog boys. Oh boy. Um. Maybe they'll be weak to some dark? No. no. Jeez, it doesn't matter if they're doing two damage. I will cut you down! My turn now. Um. Stab him. Alright, well, that didn't work. I'll do my best. This frog's gonna beat up one of us. Uh, stab it. Just kill it. Okay. Uh, save real quick. Just in case. You never know what'll happen. Good day like the game could just crash randomly. I don't want to have to redo what I've already done. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So these guys aren't weak to swords or spears, huh? About to go. Nope. I am ready. 
Nighthood, bring your shade. Goat sweet to that. Ophelia, I'm gonna have you heal yourself a little bit. Because I don't want you to just die from one of these guys. How they looking? Looking pretty healthy still. Uh, arrow? I'll do my best. No, but it lowers his magic. Probably just do our Bring AoE stuff, face. try to kill him. No. <laughs> Victory shall Jeez. be mine. He's healing. Kill the frog. Kill someone. Out of my way. There we go. One's down. I can figure out. How to kill this guy then. Alright, that's how we're killing him. Nice, and then you can. You can use some holy light on him. I'm ready. And then everyone just like take turns punching him, and we should be fine. Let's go. Ooh, let's go grab this. There we go. Thunder Soulstone. We should probably use those on uh on bosses. I am ready. This is just like a big AoE group again. Cool. Time to close up shop. All right. Damn. I think we have one more area to go through before we get to the town. Let us fight with honor. What to do? What to do indeed. So many I'm ways ready. to kill them. Naito, bring your shade. Victory shall I will cut you down. With each battle, I grow stronger. Oh. The Whistlewood. Uh, let's not go there yet. That is a good place to keep in mind. Let's fight with honor. Let's do this. I love these fights where we can kill everyone before they do any damage to us, so we can get boost on actually everything. Like, we'll get the XP, the money, and the JP boost. Boost. I am ready. It's pretty nice. The The show is over. 
save here. And let's head on into town. Which should be not here yet. Okay. My turn now. Uh so what I think I'm gonna do with this is attack the sheep two ready. times. Use Nido to break Nido. the sheep, because the sheep's Bring gonna live. Face. He's gonna live this turn. 100%. Uh, use Luminescence. Deal some damage to all of them. And, uh, Level Slash should take out the rest. Nope. The little boy in the back. Oh, dang, that's... That's rough. Um... Night of them again, and we should be... Whew, that cuts the damage by a decent chunk. Oh, we're out of SP on all of it. Good thing the town's right here. Yeah, let's go to making things rough. Nope. Um, I'm ready. Not I'll not be defeated. Mm. Oh, sacred life. That's no damage at all. Okay, ready. now we can actually kill him. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's more like it. Or Ulbrich can go to sleep too. My turn now. Uh, can you oh, manage to kill him? Ah, oh, you added your boost. I forgot. Well, then. well I'm gonna have to use that boost to heal everyone. I'm ready. This should go. It better. Thank you. Dang. There we go. We have made it. We have arrived. And first I will just stay at the end. Take a nap, heal everyone back up to full. And thus, that'll be for a quest later. So that's what always those things are. They're always for quests later. Um, what I would like to do there we go, is talk to this guy, swap out. Ophelia for Alfin just while we're in the town. Just so Alfin can uh he can he can chat up some people. See if we can get some information. See if we can get some hidden items. Cause that's like always wonderful. Yeah, gimme that. An item, lovely. Iron armor. Oh, just 50 physical defense? Eh. Empty coin pouch? Okay, that's just like a little bit of money. That's one of those things. Smarter bartering. Better chance of getting a discount when you purchase items. So what is this guy going to do then? Is he going to try to take Tress's place? Because no one's doing that. New weapons for sale, that's always fun. 
Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, anything else? Down in this area, at least. Does not seem like it. So... Residents of the town will be, uh, more... More inclined for my guidance. Alright. Arcane Glaive. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, we already have one. If we're gonna keep... Uh, Ophelia in our party, I might want to drop some money on this mage staff. I don't know. Pointed hat? Nah. Let's see. Circlet? Hmm. Anything? That's pretty good just for, like, defense, but that's a lot of money. Okay, um... I do like that max SP up. I think that's pretty nice. Uh, but for now, we'll just head on into the next part of town and see what's, see what's the haps over there. And I um, talk to you in just a minute. How are you doing today? Hmm? Can I beat up the librarian? Why would I want to do that? I could, but why? Item. Lovely. I gotta check everywhere in town first. Never know what you might get. I think that's... Is that less? I think so. Oh, haggling discount. Let's go. So it's... Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that. Pays off. Hidden item. I like I like the uh the shield. Also a shield, but I don't think it's nearly as good as the elusive one, which you know, dodging all day. Hidden item. Hidden item. Anything else? No. Okay. Well. I don't mind if I do. A small cup, worth it, completely. And we got one over to our left side. No, Olive, all right, just, just, you know, stocking up. Nothing in here, all right. Uh, is there any more parts of the town? There might be one more. Oh yes, there is. Over this way. Oh, there it is. So much stuff, lovely. 
guessing we're gonna have to go like down there first. Okay. And there it is. Odds and ends. What is that? Is that just Is that just stuff to sell? Odds and ends, yeah. I'm just making sure. We'll check in here real quick. Just give it all once over just in case. Nothing standing out too much right now. Alright. Well. We have seen everything there is to do in this place then. Who are you? Cyrus. Hmm, yes. I think I know now who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him, just to make sure we all understand one another. His name is Cyrus, and he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is home to the Royal Academy where many a scholar studies night and day bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the hall of the great library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft. Certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit, Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. Yes! Alright, Cyrus. Uh, I'll find you. Just take a time out. Take a time out. Just sit on the sideline for a second. Yes, I'd love to hear the beginning of your tale. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long-forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? Histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. 
It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Oh, no reading? Okay. <laughs> ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Royal Library came by with a message for you. Seems today's your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid! Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside this, the palace. I'd best make haste. Wonderful. Hey, what can I do to people? Nothing yet. Okay, it'll it'll let me know. Professor Albright. <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth of the matter is... If you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! But of course, Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Uh, is the question a quick one? Yes, Professor. It will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornburg. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. A very astute question, Your Highness. However, I feel fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornburg fell. I see you. A shame that. The truth is... I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornburg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Let's continue the discussion at another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need for apologies. It would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such question occur that that such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. I thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. 
For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. You're far too kind, Professor Albright. I'm proud to be your student. Ah! Oh, oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. Ah, Therese. Oh, hello there, Therese. Yes, did you have a question? Did you have a question for me as well? No. I, I mean, no. Good day, Professor. There's no need to run out like you're hiding something, even though you are. Okay, where is this? Oh, wait, here. Gotcha. It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I heard that an original copy of The Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I of see. course. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. Is something amiss? Actually... For someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy... <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy... I am titillated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. I see. Right. The expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. How odd, the tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm, not here either. An interesting dilemma. These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright! The headmaster would see you at once. Ah, <sighs> uh, of all the times to... Well, might I ask of you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing? Huh. I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. 
How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Oh, dang! Wait, there was one last thing. Sir? Which is? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Uh, excuse me. What's the matter? Yes, what is it? Uh, what, what was her name? Therese? Therese? It was Therese. Okay. Mm. Uh, um. It's it's about Professor Albright, sir. Oh, she's snitching on me? Alright, well, um, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll go, I guess, back to the special library, the secret archives, whatever they're called, next time. Uh, yeah.